Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. We just stole ourselves a Imperial Star Destroyer. And now I guess we're gonna go figure out what we're gonna do with it. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Linda, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. Why wouldn't you rename it? We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. All right, excellent. A rescue mission. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nanth Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a final crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But, anyway. We should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Which is crazy when you think about it, but the Separatists were really the good guys. This is my fault. I underestimated the repair. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosnian Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. It's weird they never said Mon Calamari would be blue. Oh, I get an A-Wing now, huh? Very nice. Let's take a look in the cockpit. Uh, a lot less switches. A lot of view, though. Be able to see pretty easily out of it. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those... Uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch, Frisk, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. 
I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could. But sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. So she is a force sensitive. No wonder she's good at racing. A wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Oh yeah, what else we got? I mean, range is 600 versus 1,000. Let's stick with those. I think the repair kit's probably important. No, this sounds like a good, good mix. No shield regen. Hundred percent acceleration, only ten percent maneuverability loss. You know how to pick them. That sounds good. I think we'll use that. Oh, 
on it. You hit I'll take this one. useful. Right 
Better. That's the last of them. Your timing couldn't be better. We're almost done. Our bombers are out of here. Thanks for the backup. We're doing our final test, Vanguard. Spread out and keep watch. <sighs> nice moves back there, Keo. You gotta teach the rest of the squadron that drift. You wanna learn right now? Uh, I'll watch five figure it out first. Okay, follow me. I learned this racing in the Koshi Star Circuit. First, transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as you can. Yes, now we're gonna buzz the bridge of the Victoria. Be ready to boost. Okay, we're ready to boost. Punch it. When you're ready, turn as hard as you can, then cut your engines to drift. You'll get it next time, Five. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Well, that didn't work. What? The hyperdrive failed again. Uh oh. No. I'm with you. 
Where is he? Scanning system flush. How long should this take? Longer than I'd like.
Who'd want to get this close to the Ringali Nebula? I believe that is the idea. It's not even close. It was pretty close. Makes sense. I wonder how close it was. on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Frostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Gray, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, so. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in. Treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. Born ready. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan. Finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, squadron leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. All right, I finally get to play with the Imperials. All right, everyone, I guess that's what we're going to do in the next video. I'll see everyone next time.